I would like to show you guys a general strategy of figuring out an explicit formula when we are given a sequence defined it recursively. This is the first example. Of course, we can just write down the first couple terms and look for a pattern for that. But you know what? We can actually utilize this the following way. Check this out. Starting with a n, we know this is 2 times its previous term. But how can we figure out the a n minus 1? Well, the idea is that we can just keep using this rule. To figure out a n minus 1, we just have to do 2 times its previous term. So let me write that down. Here we have 2, but the a n minus 1, we can just put n minus 1 here and also here. So we get 2 and then a n minus 2. And this is just the previous term of that. And of course, we multiply by 2. And work that out a little bit. We get 2 squared and then multiply by a n minus 2. Cool. Let's do it again. Here we have 2 to the second power, but for this right here, again, use this rule one more time. Put the n minus 2 here and here, so we just get 2 a n minus 2 minus 1. Of course, that's minus 3. And we are going to just multiply them. And we will see this is 2 to the third power times a n minus 3. And you can imagine the next term is going to be 2 to the 4th power times a n minus 4, and so on, so on, so on. So how many more times do we have to do this? The idea is that we have to do it enough time so that we can get to the initial condition, which is a 1. So look at this number here. What number should we put here so that we can end up with a 1? We are not going to put down n because n minus n is 0. So we have to make sure we you know, go do the term before that, which is n minus 1. So I'm just going to put down dot, 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 and I'm going to put n minus 1 here and n minus 1 here. So we get 2 to the n minus 1 times a n minus parentheses with this inside here. Check this out. n minus n is 0, and then we get a 1. So this right here becomes 2 to the n minus 1 times just a 1. With that, we can use the initial condition, so we get 2 to the n minus 1 times 1. Of course, this is just 2 to the n minus 1. In fact, if you work that out, the first term is 1, the next term is 2, and then 4, and then 8, and so on, so on, so on. It's just geometric. This is the formula for that. Okay, here's the second example. We see that a n is equal to the previous term plus 3. So we just keep adding 3. So in fact, this is just arithmetic. But let's do the same strategy that what we did earlier. So let me put down a n being equal to a n minus 1 in red and then plus 3. Okay, for this, we can put n minus 1 here and also in here. So we can get a n minus 2 and then plus this 3. And after that, we plus this 3. This and that is 6, but let me purposely write this as a n minus 2 plus 2 times 3, like so. Alright, of course, let's do it again. Look at this, put n minus 2 in here so we can get to this. We get a n minus 3 and then plus 3. And here we have plus 2 times 3. So we see this right here is just a n minus 3. But this is like 1, 3 plus 2, 3, so we have 3, 3. So this right here is just going to be plus 3 times 3. And then so on, so on, so on. Again, same thing. We need to end up with a 1, so we have to keep going. Oh well. And then we just keep going. And we are just going to be plugging n minus 1 to here and here. So we are looking at a n minus n minus 1 and then we add n minus 1 times 3. Okay, you see this right here is just nicely equal to a1 and this right here is just n minus 1 times 3 and of course that's equal to 1 plus n minus 1 times 3. So in fact you see that this is just a standard form of the arithmetic sequence. And of course, you can work that out. We get 3n. 
and then minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, a n is equal to 3m minus 2. So it's just, you start with 1, and then you keep adding 3, so you get 4, 7, 10, and so on, so on, so on. Arithmetic. Alright, for this, alright, last example. For this one, this is not geometric, and it's also not arithmetic. And let me also show you. If we start with 1, and the next term is going to be 2 times the previous, so 2 times 1 is 2, and we add 3, which is 5. And then next, we do 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 3 is 13. And then continue. 2 times 13 is 26, and plus 3 is 29, and so on, so on, so on. This right here is much harder to figure out because we do not have like a general formula for this kind of sequence. So this is going to be a very good time for us to use the general strategy that I showed you earlier. So let's start with a n being equal to 2, a n minus 1, and then after that we add a 3. So here we go. 2 times a n minus 1, we put the n minus 1 here, and we just have to do it here. So we get 2, and then a n minus 2, and then plus 3. After that, we still have this plus 3. Now check this out. Distribute the 2, so we get 2 to the second power, and then times a n minus 2, this is good, but for the rest, 2 times 3 plus 3, let me purposely write it, just write it out, 2 times 3 plus 3, I'm not going to combine anything. Alright, continue, because here we are going to get this. We still have 2 to the second in the front, and then a n minus 2, we put the n minus 2 here, so we get 2 a n minus 3, and then plus 3. After that, we have to add out the rest, which is 2 times 3 plus 3. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. If we clean things up, we first get 2 to the third power, and then a n minus 3, and 2 to the second, so let me just add 2 to the second times 3, and then plus 2 times 3, and then plus 3. So you can see that this is actually going to get longer and longer, and each every time you have 2 to a higher power. Wow, this is pretty crazy. So again, we are going to utilize the initial condition, meaning that we have to put n minus 1 here and n minus 1 here. So be really careful dot, 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 this becomes 2 to the n minus 1 power times a n minus n minus 1, just like what we did earlier. But now, you see earlier this was 3, so this is 2. Here, this is n minus 1, so the first is going to be 2 to the n minus 2 power, and then times 3. And then next is going to be like a lower power, right? And then just keep going, and then you will end up with plus 2 to the 3, I mean 2 times 3 plus 3, like so. In fact, you will see this right here forms a <laughs> geometry series. So you have to use the formula to add this up. So that's why this right here is very not easy. But anyway, I'll show you guys the answer for that. This is 2 to the m minus 1, and this right here as you know, this is just equal to a1, which is 1, so we multiply by 1. But for all this, we are going to put down the first term, which is 3. And we are going to multiply by each every time you have to multiply by 2, right? So we do 1 minus 2. And then for the formula for the geometry series is that you have to add 1 to this power, so it becomes n minus 1 power and divided by 1 minus the common ratio which is again 2. Yeah, so that will be the sum for all this. Okay, and then let's clean things up because we can see this right here is just negative 1 on the bottom. So we get, let's distribute, so we get, neg we get 3 times negative 3 times 2 to the negative 2 to the n minus 1 and then divided by negative 1 which is negative 3 plus 3 times 2 to the n minus 1 so you can see 
if we put it back, this is, we still have that in the front, 2 to the m minus 1, and we add, just work that out, we get a negative 3 plus 3 times 2 to the m minus 1. All right, let's see. Well, this right here is just 1 plus 3, which is 4, so altogether, we will have 4 as the coefficient. So let me put it down like this. And then this is multiplied by 2 to the n minus 1. And after that, we have the minus 3. And you know what? We can simplify this a little bit more because this right here is the same as 2 to the second power. So we can actually add the powers together. In fact, we get 2 and then 2 plus n minus 1 is just n plus 1. So let me just put it as n plus 1. And then after that, we minus the 3. Yeah? Just like this. So I think this approach is okay, but sometimes you end up with some crazy results right here as well. And let me tell you, this approach, unfortunately, is not always going to work because there are a lot of crazier recursive sequence out there. So let me just warn you guys that. But whenever this kind of approach works, it's really, really cool.